Project Tornado begins in 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer these questions to yourself. Are you ready for a tornado? Would you know what to do? Where would you go? Does your family have a plan to stay safe? Isn't it worth it? Now is the time for you to have a plan of action, to be smart about severe weather, and to share what you've learned with those around you. Today we're starting the conversation that you will finish. Pay attention, what you're about to see is real. Now is not the time to talk, but listen. There will be plenty of time to discuss what you're seeing and hearing. It is important that everyone has the opportunity to learn. Project Tornado is a special presentation from the 13 Weather Authority at WREX TV. Little on this earth can withstand the violence behind the strongest tornado. A vortex of air and debris swirling faster than the fastest race car. Today we are learning more about how tornadoes form in the hopes of predicting these killer storms. Tornadoes can create significant swaths of destruction in just seconds. Those caught in its path are faced with a life or death situation. There is no way to prevent tornadoes from happening. When all of the conditions come together, they are inevitable. Tornadoes have touched down on every continent except Antarctica. None of us expect to live there for the rest of our lives, so it's important to do everything now to increase our chance for survival the next time one hits. Wizard of Oz is probably the first place that we learned about the power of a twister, as Dorothy and her dog Toto were swept up and taken to a far-off land. Realistic? Considering the movie was made in the 1930s, yes. Perhaps more striking were scenes from this movie, Twister. Yeah, I know you're upset. You, you just gotta breathe. You just gotta breathe. Unfortunately, this one caused people to believe that they could chase tornadoes even though they weren't trained for it. In order to study these powerful storms, let's go back to 1967 when one of our towns was hit by a tornado, Belvedere. The tornado formed over Cherry Valley and raced east. By the time it reached Belvedere, it was an F4, one of the strongest possible. No one was ready for a tornado of this magnitude, and 24 people died. August 28, 1990 is a date the people of Plainfield, Illinois won't forget. 
an F-5 tornado struck the town with little advanced warning. Fortunately, tornadoes like these are rare because the only way to survive them is to be below ground. You may remember January 7, 2008, not for a snowstorm, but for a tornado. A winter tornado formed just east of Loves Park and leveled homes around Edwards Apple Orchard in Poplar Grove. This tornado was caught on tape as it met a Union Pacific freight train head on. November 2010, the unthinkable happened again when a large tornado struck northern Illinois. This time, Caledonia was in its path. The damage was incredible. Grain bins were punched, wires were hanging in the streets, and many homes were damaged or destroyed. Thankfully, the Poplar Grove tornado a year earlier taught people to expect tornadoes any time of the year, and no one lost their lives. Uh, we are having difficulties because of the power lines that are down getting to different areas. We know people are trapped. Uh, personally, we've been uh, going. We see somebody walking with wounds. We're stopping. We're treating them. We're taking them to the triage center. In 2013, the city of Moore, Oklahoma, was hit by a powerful tornado. This was the second time an EF-5 hit the city in just 14 years. Wind speeds reached 210 miles per hour, causing nearly two billion dollars in damage. 400 people were injured, 24 people lost their lives. It's unbearably loud and, and you could see, see stuff flying everywhere. Also last year, a mid-November severe weather outbreak brought tornadoes to the Midwest, including 25 here in Illinois. Just 100 miles to our south, the city of Washington, Illinois, was one of the hardest hit. Wind speeds reached 190 miles per hour, completely destroying 600 homes and killing three people. Every year that goes by without a tornado makes us that much more vulnerable the next year. That's why it's important to understand what goes into making a tornado touchdown. First, in order to get thunderstorms to form, you need warm, moist air. This usually comes from the Gulf of Mexico. As that air is confronted by a completely opposite air mass, one that is cool and dry, thunderstorms form. As these storms grow tall, they can encounter wind shear. Wind shear is the change of wind direction with height. If the wind is out of the southeast at ground level, while the wind within the cloud is from the southwest, the storm can begin to twist and if the shear is strong enough, the storm begins to rotate. Only the strongest of these rotating storms goes on to produce a tornado. At 13 WREX, there are more than a dozen computers helping us see if conditions are right for a tornado. Most times we're able to give you a heads up hours in advance with a tornado watch. But what if you're outside, away from your TV? Just watch for changing weather. If you hear thunder, go inside and check with us. If we observe the storm twisting, or if a trained storm spotter sees a funnel, the tornado warning goes out. This is when everyone should seek shelter. The main goal during a tornado is to put as many walls as possible between you and the swirling debris. Basements are the best with the area under stairwells the safest. The next best place is an interior room, like a closet or bathroom. However, the rules change if you're in a mobile home. If you live in a mobile or manufactured home, you're actually safer outside. 
mobile homes can be rolled or even shredded by a tornado. The part of the United States most likely to see tornadoes is an area called Tornado Alley. Texas, Kansas, Florida, Oklahoma, and Nebraska are the states with the most tornadoes, followed by the state of Illinois. You've probably seen this in the corner of your TV screen. This lets us show you all of the weather watches and warnings. But it's important to know the colors. A severe thunderstorm watch is displayed in orange. When there is large hail or damaging wind, the watch becomes a warning and is displayed in bright yellow. Tornado watches are displayed in red. When warnings are issued, the map turns bright pink. This is the time to act. Most counties have outdoor tornado sirens. Hearing their loud wail assures everyone outside can get the warning. If the skies are dark and you hear that sound, seek shelter immediately. Let's see how much you know about tornadoes. If you know the answer, shout it out. True or false, tornadoes always travel from southwest to northeast. False. Tornadoes travel with the direction of storms, and most of the time, that is from the southwest. True or false, tornadoes only occur in Illinois in spring and summer. False. Tornadoes occur at any time of the year, including the winter months. Tornadoes are able to cross large bodies of water. True. Tornadoes that move over water become water spouts. Water spouts that move onto land become tornadoes. It is easy to outrun a tornado in a car. False. A car is not a safe place to ride out a tornado. You are better off in a ditch or culvert covering your head with your hands. True or false, highway overpasses offer safe shelter during a tornado. False. Many people believe the structure of a bridge will protect you, but the air and debris is channeled there. Your best bet is to get as low as possible. True or false, Rockford is safe from tornadoes because it lies in a valley. False. A tornado can strike valleys and on top of mountains or hills. There is nothing in our geography that protects us from tornadoes. Most tornadoes occur in the late afternoon hours. True. Prime time for tornadoes is between 4 and 8 p.m. with our peak tornado season coming in June. It is important everyone is safe during a tornado emergency. Even though you are about to complete our Project Tornado course, it is important you share what you've learned with your family and friends. Coming up with a plan during a tornado won't do anyone any good. Plan now. And rest assured, the 13 Weather Authority will be watching and waiting for the next tornado to touch down. Will you be ready for it? Project Tornado is a special presentation from the 13 Weather Authority. Always tracking at WREX.com.